Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and today I have an Alcrate unboxing for you. So, oh, it's so tight. Oh, that's a pretty card. Okay. Peek behind the curtain. I will set the spoiler card down. This Ooh, Bones Coffee, Chocolate Eclair. Um, this is Angel of Music Chocolate Eclair Coffee. So, um, Phantom of the Opera, I'm assuming. Then we have, ooh, what is this? The Conquering Circus Presents, where the stage tells a story, the spectacular and legends are born. Oh. I guess this is a, a koozie of some sort, but I am not, hold on, uh, it's a popcorn holder. A uh, silicone popcorn holder inspired by Where Dreams Descend. Maybe. That might not be it either. Uh, I don't, I don't know. We'll, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Our literary luggage pin for this month. Oh, Le Cirque de Riz. It is a night circus pin. I love the night circus. Uh, that is a pin I am definitely excited about. There's a box for finding dreams that don't exist yet. What's oh, a wax set? It's <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I think it goes this way. Oh, I should probably show you, huh? Can't. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know what that is from, but I don't want to spoiler card myself any more than I already have just yet. Um. All right, so scoop tables, one and a half tablespoon of popcorn kernels into the holder. Close the flaps completely. Place in microwave and heat on high for a minute and a half or until popping stops. Remove carefully, it will be hot. Open the flaps and um, add your preferred toppings. That's so cool. Okay. Then we have a box. A box, the back of the box says the circus arrives without warning. Like I said, I love the night circus. It's a wall clock. It's a night circus wall clock. Can you, can you, oh my gosh. I have no wall clocks in my house because like we use my phone, but I'm that, that, that's going, that's going in, in my room. Yes, this is outside things may be tragic, but in here we feel it's magic. And this hot pad, maybe? I don't know, but I'm down. Like, that is super cool. And Okay, I think we're down to the book. Yes. All right. So, the book is Hotel Magnifique. I know nothing about this, but it's by Emily J. Taylor, and I'm guessing it has something to do with a circus, because we we got Caraval and Night Circus stuff, so let me pop this open. So here is the book. The end papers are gorgeous. Let's see. Oh, 
Greetings, traveler. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, and I am loving the interiors that they're doing on their book jackets right now. All right. Let's see what it says. <laughs> okay. It says, all her life, Janie has dreamed of elsewhere. Barely scraping by with a job at a tannery, she's resigned to a dreary life in the port town of Dirk, caring for her younger sister, Zosa. That is, until the legendary Hotel Magnifique appears in town. The hotel is famous for its astonishing enchantments. Enchantments. Especially its ability to travel the world, arriving at a new destination each midnight. Janie and Zosa seize their chance to join the hotel staff, and they're soon swept up in a world of sparkling chandeliers and impossible magic. It's not long before Janie discovers that beneath its marvelous glamour, the hotel is hiding dangerous secrets. With the vexingly handsome doorman Belle as her only ally, Janie embarks on a mission to unravel the mystery of the magic at the heart of the hotel and free Zosa and the other staff from the cruelty of the ruthless maitre de hotel. To succeed, she'll have to risk everything she loves, but failure would mean a fate far worse than never returning home. Um, so I feel like I've read about this hotel, like not a book about the hotel, but the idea of a hotel like this was in another book I've read. I don't remember which one it was, but it was like a hotel that appeared randomly at certain places, but it wasn't in town. It was like in the middle of nowhere. I don't have any idea, but here is the letter. Um, from the author and our little deal there. And next month's owl crate is themed the chosen ones and will have an exclusive item designed by blissfully bookish. So that is April's owl crate. This popcorn thing is genius. I wish I had, like, loose popcorn kernels. I may have to buy some just to, to see. Oh, and let's actually check and see what this is supposed to be. What did I do with the spoiler card? Let's actually look at this right here. This doesn't give me any... Spoilers, what I do with the card? Oh my goodness. Never mind. I can't, I can't, I can't show you the card. I found it. All right, this is a mouse pad, and it's from the Moulin Rouge, by the way. In case you didn't pick that up, I didn't tell you that earlier. That is from the Moulin Rouge, and it is a mouse pad. Um, I will not be using it as a mouse pad. It's going to end up being decoration and or a uh, hot pad, maybe, because I don't use a mouse. So there's that. All right, but that is all that we got in the April Owl Crate. I will talk to you again soon. Until next time. Let me know what your favorite thing in here was. Let me know if you loved the Night Circus or hated it because I know a bunch of people didn't like it. And stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.